Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're experiencing no sound on your Windows 11 computer when connecting to your television or TV. So if there is no HDMI audio device detected, you may be experiencing these problems with various sound cards like Realtek, NVIDIA, VIA, Connexent, etc. So pretty straightforward process here guys, and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the solution. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu or the search icon, whichever you prefer. And you want to search for services. Best result should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and open that up. Now you want to go ahead and locate a service that goes by the name Windows Audio. So I'm going to make this a little bit wider here. And I'm going to go down to Windows Audio. And I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to set startup type to automatic, and if the service status is stopped, I'm going to go ahead and start the service. And then you're going to select apply and OK. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. Restart your computer and then see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing an issue here as well, you can open up the search icon and search for device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Should be the best result. Expand the audio inputs and output section and then right click on the speaker device and select properties select the driver tab and then you want to select where it says update driver select where it says search automatically for drivers so go ahead and select that first it might see the best drivers for your device are already installed in which case then you can go ahead and search for updated drivers on Windows Update if you went back you could also select browse my computer for drivers locate and install a driver manually so if you want to go ahead and select that, you can go ahead and select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then if you had a specific one for your device, you can select that. Otherwise, you can select the generic one. And then you would select Next. Select Close. Close out of here. And you want to go ahead and restart your computer. And while it's restarting, I do want to emphasize you want to make sure your devices are properly hooked up. You may want to consider turning your TV on and off again. You may also want to refer to the TV manual. Make sure everything's plugged in and turned on and that your TV sound is actually turned on too. So again, a couple different things you have to consider here. And you may also want to go and actually contact the customer support for your device and see if they are able to help you walk through it over the phone. But again, that would be very case-by-case uh, -case basis type of issue. But like I said, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.